Okay, thank you everyone. Welcome to our Women History Month speaker series. Series. Uh, thank you all for being here. I also want to acknowledge all our uh, colleagues from the center. My name is Suelen Schneider de Maria, and I will be the host for today's sessions with the Center for Global Partnerships and Learning. Well, if that's uh, if it is the first time that you hear about our center, I will provide you some information. Our center. Um, provides GSEP students with a myriad of services ranging from publications, support, certificate programs, access to GSEP academic journal, our scholarship without, without borders, and a few other services, including this type of cultural events, info, info sessions, workshops, and others. So now let me introduce you to our guest. Kaylee um, started her PhD in Global Leadership and Change at Pepperdine in 2020. Her area of research is focused on women in leadership with an emphasis on military services, uh, service members and law enforcement. She is passionate about empowering women to succeed through her research and teaching roles. In her pursuit of health and wellness, Kaylee started exploring yoga and meditation and has guided yoga in different capacities for the last seven years. Outside her studies, Kaylee spent time traveling, seeking out good coffee and visiting um, with her little nieces and nephews. Uh, Kaylee will guide us today through a brief personal development and meditation experience. Uh, this will include a guided meditation, time for self-reflection, and optional gentle seated movement. So everyone help me to welcome Kaylee. Oh, yay. Thank you so much. It is such an honor to be here. I just could not be more grateful for uh, Pepperdine and for the Center for Global Partnerships and Learning that puts together this fantastic series. I'm just, um, you know, one of, of a series of, of esteemed um, speakers, so I hope that you'll join their sessions as well. Uh, that being said, I know our time together is brief, so we will dive right in. And as we get started, we'll go over um, just a brief overview of what we'll cover today, but I wanted to start by saying um, that we are working towards a celebration of our contributions as women. And um, I will guide us through a, a brief um, imaginative meditation, but I want to acknowledge that um, many of us can be facing trials of many kinds at this point in, in our lives. We may um, be energetically not feeling at 100%, which is certainly okay. And so I just wanted to say up front, come as you are. I will ask that you participate in the chat if you feel so led and comfortable, but if not, just sit back and enjoy this, this personal practice. Um, that being said, please go ahead and grab a journal or anything you're comfortable writing on. I mean, I have random little pieces of paper everywhere. So if that's what you have today, just go ahead and grab it. Um, and with that, I would love to invite um, uh, Reverend Charletta Green to open us in prayer. Uh, good afternoon, all. I am going to use a more contemplative prayer rather than some of the other ones I've used or written. Uh, we're going to use Howard Thurman today to focus our time. And, um, and I'm going to shift some of the language so that it fits us. So, um, and, and recently I've learned it's important not to always pray with your eyes closed, but to pray with your eyes open, particularly so that you can see the beauty and the Imago Dei of the people that you are praying with. So whatever posture you choose to take today, open unto us light for our darkness, 
open unto us courage for our fears. Open unto us hope for our despair. Open unto us peace for our turmoil. Open unto us joy for our sorrow. Open unto us strength for our weaknesses. Open unto us wisdom for our confusion. Open unto us forgiveness for our missteps and sins. Open unto us love for our hates. Open unto us thy divine self for ourselves. Divine being who created us all, open unto us. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Charletta. Um, and that is, that's a perfect segue into a, a brief introduction. And I um, think in Charlotta's prayer, it just reminded me of getting to know ourselves a little bit better um, and acknowledging and receiving ourselves as we are. So uh, Sue Ellen already shared a little bit about me, but I wanted to say, if you don't already have a meditation practice, if meditation is foreign to you, that's okay. You came to the right place. Thank you for trying something new today. Um, a, a couple items that are special about meditation is a, it's really, uh, an internal, a personal practice. And what I love about that is that it's a time to turn inwards. And I know many of us, um, on this call are professionals, we're academics, we are always looking outward, thinking outward. And so it's really special to try on meditation as a, just a time to reflect and to turn inward. And then why celebration? Why, why, why celebrate our accomplishments and each other? And I think of the work of uh, Dr. Asya Ghazi. Um, she talks a lot about imposter syndrome, which I know um, many of us, I, I venture to say, have, have felt at one point or another. And one of the items that she identified as really important for women is that we celebrate our accomplishments. And so that's why we're going with this theme today, along with um, this wonderful celebration of Women's History Month. And then, like I said earlier, I, I just invite you to come uh, and be as you are in these, in these next 20 minutes. So uh, I've written a lot of texts on these slides because I'm going to share them with you later. And if you want more time to delve into this and think more about it, um, just know that's why I've written a lot of this down here. But I wanted to add this quote as I was considering our practice, and it says, it's special to look around and see the positive impact and changes that you have made in other people's lives. Um, for many, it's children, colleagues, coworkers, uh, friends, and family members. And it's equally as important to look to yourself and to acknowledge the personal work you've done to become who you are today. Um, and I, I wrote here, we are celebrating our accomplishments, but more than that, we're celebrating that we exist and the relationships we have and the fullness of life that we get to live and the contributions that we make by being uniquely us, being uniquely you here on this call. So um, here are some themes that I invite you into as we move through this practice, that you would be open to a sense of confidence, that you would be open to acknowledging your accomplishments in their many different forms, and that you would find some pride in, in the work that you've done, um, and big or small, big or small. Okay, so now we will move into our first uh, series of self-reflection, and it will be in the form of three prompts. Uh, as I said, I, I will invite you to write answers in the chat if you feel comfortable, and please know that I've been assured that this um, recording will be audio only, so this is a safe space for you to 
answer as, as you feel led. Go ahead and grab your journal. And the first prompt is to list three of your um, a professional accomplishments. Now, this can be in you know the last three months. It can be whatever bubbles to the surface for you um, when you think of these. When you think of these questions when you think of your accomplishments, and. Uh, I invite you to think specifically about the professional ones. I'll give you a few moments here. And then if you feel comfortable, you could write some of those in the chat. Awesome. And then we'll move on. Number two, list three personal accomplishments. So these can be having to do with relationships. They can be having to do with if you had a goal to read however many books during the year, just whatever comes to your mind for personal accomplishments. Uh, I'll see. For me, I had written down that some of mine that I'm that I'm a proud of are that I've grown my capacity to take risks that I've put myself in situations over the last six months that require me to be brave. Um, and that I'm learning to love beyond my comfort zone. So those are just uh, like three of my examples. Yours may look like that, or they may be totally different, which is, which is fine. And you're welcome to share those in the chat as well or not. And it is important to acknowledge our personal and professional accomplishments. And as I was thinking about this, though, I, I also wrote that we, we tend towards accomplishments, but that our encouragement can be that we celebrate beyond those accomplishments to include the things that make us unique in our very existence uh, here on earth and that we celebrate those small things that make us unique. And so with that, I'll move here to the third prompt. So list three things that bring you joy. You can also list more than that as well. Um, I mentioned this in my, in my bio, which is a, a giveaway, but you know, I love like a good cup of coffee. And to me, I think that's, it's just something very special that brings me joy. Um, I also love good books. I love one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations are so special to me. Um, yes, I see some of you nodding your heads. Bethany, yes. <laughs> Inva, awesome. Um, so whatever those things are for you, maybe you love being in groups. Um, maybe you have a favorite dress, a favorite berry, something that you just for your whole life since you were a kid love. These are very, um, very special. And um, as you start to wrap up those notes, just take a look at your answers to the three prompts all together, noting um, maybe some of some of these items came to you very quickly. Maybe some of them you were like, "What? I, I don't know. What? What are the things that really <laughs> that really make me uh, joyful?" And and that's okay. But we are just coming incrementally closer to ourselves. Um, 
And in the same spirit, I will now move into the meditation piece. And my hope for the meditation is that you start to build an incrementally closer connection to yourself and the things that you would like to celebrate about being you. So with that, if you're comfortable, um, you can close your eyes if that's comfortable to you. You can keep your eyes open. Um, but I do ask you to like come to a seat. You can move your journal to the side. And we will start with some breath work here. So relax your shoulders down. And if your eyes are closed, you can stay there. Um, you can also just find a soft gaze, whatever that looks like for you. And then just bring your awareness to your breath. That's all. You're just noticing your breath. Maybe it's in your throat right now. Maybe it's in your chest. Maybe it's starting to travel down to your belly and the beautiful thing about breath practice is right when you start to bring your awareness to your breath, automatically it will start to deepen. Now soften your shoulders, let your weight be heavy on your seat wherever you're sitting. And then deepen your breath now. Find a little bit more control. Maybe three to four count inhales. And three to four count exhales. So you're just calming, strengthening your breath. Now you're welcome to stay here and just breathe. If you'd like to take a little bit of movement, start to roll your shoulders up to your ears and then down your back. You're just taking really gentle shoulder rolls here. It doesn't have to be a big movement. We're just grounding into our bodies a little bit. And then land yourself back at center. Turn your head to the right. So you're bringing your right chin to your right shoulder. And then turn your head to the left, left chin, left shoulder. And then come back to center. Go ahead and bring your chin up. And then go ahead and bring your chin back down as you tuck your chin to your chest and lengthen out the back of your neck. And then come back to center. And then I invite you to reach your arms up and over your head. So you're reaching your fingers for the ceiling. And then you'll bring a side body stretch. So you're stretching out through your right side body as you lean left. You can keep your arms reached up or you can bring them down by your side. And then come back through center and then take a side body stretch the other direction. Continue to breathe. Really nice, everyone. And then come back through center. Bring your hands back down by your sides. And then just take a gentle twist to the right. So you bring your chin to the right, your chest towards the right, but your hips stay facing forward. Gaze all the way back. Good. And then come back through center and then you'll twist the other direction. We're just taking a gentle spinal rotation. And then close your eyes and rest back at center. Close your eyes once more. If you opened them, rest your hands on your thighs. And return to your easy breath. Now we'll move into the imaginative um, meditation practice. So in your mind's eye, find yourself somewhere that feels celebratory to you. Maybe you are sitting at a table with 
your favorite um, cup of coffee, your favorite cup of tea, you feel calm, you feel excited. And maybe on the table, there's like a bouquet of beautiful flowers. Um, maybe you have a pretty fun tablecloth on the table with balloons on it. Something that says to you, I'm at a celebration. And then imagine that one of your good girlfriends comes and sits at the table with you. She pulls up a chair and she sits down and now you're sitting together. Imagine that you ask her the same three prompts that you just answered for yourself. And then imagine that she tells hers to you. She starts to let you know her professional accomplishments, her personal accomplishments, and the things that make her special. And then when she's done telling you about her, her accomplishments, the things that she likes to celebrate, go ahead and give her words of encouragement. Go ahead and give her um, words that celebrate her. And then when you're all done, you can go ahead and stand up and maybe you give her a hug. Maybe you give her a high five as you say goodbye and see her soon. And then go ahead and sit back down at your table. And this time, imagine that you see yourself walk in. And you see yourself sit down at the table across from you. And in the same way, watch yourself as you share your personal accomplishments, your professional ones, and the things that make you special. Maybe your answers are the ones that you wrote down, but maybe they're different. Maybe you start to acknowledge new things that you're excited to share. Then look at yourself across the table and give yourself words of encouragement, words of celebration for the things that you shared. And maybe there is a giant smile on your face. And then in the same way, you stand up and give yourself a giant, warm, happy hug. And instead of saying goodbye, you sit back down, close your eyes, and bring your awareness back to your breath. And then your awareness back into the space where you're sitting now, maybe at your home, maybe at your office, back to the session that we have together. Take a big breath in and a full breath out. Now I invite you to um, stay here a little bit longer with your eyes closed and then um, when you feel ready, just go ahead and take your journal and jot down any notes or anything that you'd like to acknowledge from this experience. I'll give you a few moments to go ahead and do that.
Awesome, everyone. Um, you're welcome to continue on with this if you'd like. Um, I, I will share this PowerPoint with you, but I wanted to just acknowledge that this can be like a very um, deeply personal practice. But um, one thing that I hope you gain from this is that you can learn to celebrate yourself in a very deeply connected way. Um, I know that you know, there are different, definitely ways that you can celebrate yourself by um, spending money or, or services. And there's certainly nothing wrong with that. But there's, there's definitely something to be said about acknowledging the work that you um, do about taking time to be with yourself, to think about yourself and to have a more contemplative uh, as Charletta uh, opened with a more contemplative practice. And to me, these really are the nuts and bolts of um, what make up our minds, what really shape our spirits. And so um, I hope that this brief practice just brought you incrementally, just a shred tad closer um, to who you are and, and hopefully spurs you on to, to further practices like this. And before we conclude, um, I wanted to leave you with this question. And again, I'll share the PowerPoint. No need to answer this now. Um, but what do you look forward to celebrating in the future? Uh, we just spent time acknowledging what we've done and who we are. And uh, it's, it's also a wonderful practice to look forward to things like this. And I hope that um, you learned also from this that we can celebrate not only our accomplishments, but just our very existence here um, in the world and in our, our circles. So with that, uh, I will conclude. Thank you so much all for being here. It just is such a pleasure. I mean, I wish that I could reach through and, and just hold you all close. Um, but in the meantime, this has just been, been a pleasure to host. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so much, Kaylee. This yeah. was amazing. This was a wonderful practice. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be sure to, um, maybe I can just put this PowerPoint in the chat briefly. I want to be mindful of everyone's time and thank you again to the center for hosting this as well and bethany great to see you here good to see all of you here on the on the screen thank you for coming all right also kelly if you want to email me i can see if i can email everyone here in the session sure oh yeah that's that's great um why don't we do both here? I've identified how to send this to you all. It's like my first time using Zoom every time, you know. <laughs> okay, it's right here in the chat and I'll send it to Sue Ellen as well. But if there's no more comments, I'll just go ahead and close. Hi, Patty. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, yeah. with that, we conclude our session for today. I hope you all can um, jo join us for our next um, session uh, next week. We will have uh, Dr. Shai uh, on the 14th, and then we will have a panel of students on the 17th. We'll have also uh, Dr. Heather is here. Her She will be speaking with us in the 23rd. So please uh, go ahead and, and register for one of our events. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye. Enjoy your the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. It was Bye. wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.